All right, class, this is a quick tutorial on installing the Adobe software on your computers at home. So this is uh, inside your um, Google Classroom. We're gonna click on this site right here, the Google Creative Cloud Adobe Suite. And you can sign in either, if you know your credentials, you'll, log, you'll put them in there and you'll continue to your password. But if you're already logged in, let's just go ahead and click uh, the continue with Google like we normally do and we're gonna, we're gonna connect with Google. You may get that one message where it takes you to the uh, single sign-on, but I've already been signed in, so it's just going to should be take me directly there. You have two choices here. We're going to go with Enterprise ID because this software is free only to schools, so our school had to activate it. So we're going to click on that, and then we are going to go into the Creative Cloud. You know, you you are you will know you are signed in. You're not, you're not going to have your name up there, but right in the middle of the, of the screen, you're going to say, welcome to Creative Cloud, and then your first name. My first name is Jose. So it's there. So then you're going to go into this little area right here called Apps. On the upper left-hand corner, you're going to click that Apps. Now, we have access to all of these. Adobe's giving this for us for free for um, the remainder of the school year. I think it's two months. Uh, we, can, we can actually download all of this software on your computer, but to save room, I'm going to recommend right now that you just install the animate and mobile packaging which is right here on this side okay and again your screen may look different depending on your screen your uh, how long you squeeze it or you expand it and of course it's asking for permission we've already got the permission so just click that and then you're gonna have to locate remember where you where you download this all right i usually put the put it on desktop then i and i uh, delete it later but make sure you uh, you know where it's downloading. See, I'm, I'm waiting for it to download. It's, I'm going to speed it up right away, by the way. Um, just make sure that for, for the sake of time, depending on your speed, it may take a while. It may take up to 30 minutes to download, depending on your speed. Um, so basically, it's downloading um, onto my computer. And then when it's done, I'm going to go ahead and opening it. Open it. I'm sorry. And that, that's, that's going to be fast. But when you click on the installer, I'm sorry, this is where it's going to take a little longer. And, and it's going to say, I don't want you to warn me. Again, I'm on a Mac. Yours may be a little different because it's on the on a PC or another device. Um, so we're going to go ahead and follow the instructions. We're going to continue. It's going to take you to the site. It's going to say you're all set because, again, because again, our district has already authorized it. And then it's um, going to ask you to select the level. I chose... Uh, beginner because we are learning it i could have chosen intermediate i even though i teach it i wouldn't want to say i was advanced you're going to choose student but since i'm the teacher and faculty right there you're going to choose it there i'm going to choose teacher and then i'm going to um, basically select the use uh, i would not put organization team because you're not getting it for multiple people yourself only where it says myself only and then start installing and of course this part i'm going to speed up because um i don't want to waste too much time here in addition to installing Creative Cloud, it may also ask you to download some fonts. Okay, so it here it says it needs to download the uh, font Osaka. So go ahead, whatever fonts it, your your computer may need, just go ahead and, and click download. That way it'll install it, and uh, you won't have any issues with um, creating any any documents after this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit download. And then there it goes, it's installed in Osaka and then it's going to start opening it. So it's gonna ask you if you're new to animate, you're not new, it, it, it'll take you to some tutorials, but you've you've played with it a while, so you can go ahead and hit no, like I did. Then it's gonna go ahead and give you a new interface. Now, one moment on this interface, this is the 2019 version. It's gonna be a different from our 2018 in class. So things are gonna, it should work similar. You may have to Google some stuff to find out, um, you know, if they moved a tool or not. I haven't had a lot of experience, so I can't tell you yet, but we're gonna work through this together. So again, it's, it has a really um, cool thing. It says, let's animate something. I just went with the, with the default and there we go. It's our familiar space and we're happy to move on. Again, you may have to, slow down this video i i know i i spoke to the through this really fast or you may have to hit the half speed or quarter speed on youtube but um but pretty much all the information's in here again uh, if you guys want to work on the boss level if and kind of play around with the craftsmanship level if you haven't already gone a couple of those if you want to just um get back into the groove you can do that